guys, Sean here. In today's video, we'll be talking about outdoor party game ideas for kids, team building edition. So if you are looking for party game ideas that will get your kids communicating and team building and cooperating together, working together, then this video is for you. While you are here, I would love for you to consider subscribing to this channel. I post new content every Tuesday on faith and motherhood. And as a mother, I'm always on the hunt for new games for my kids. Well, let's get into today's video. Game idea number one is called Lava. So you're going to need two to three objects for this game that kids can stand on. Everything else is the lava. So the only thing that is safe to stand on are the two objects, which are the rocks. And kids will need to have a beginning point and a finish line where they have to get from one end to the other just by moving those two to three objects together. So they have to work together to avoid falling in the lava. Group game number two is called Armadillo. So you're going to need a large tarp or a shower curtain and you're going to need to cut a hole in the middle. And then you will need three to four tennis balls. Kids will all grab an edge of the tarp, wave it up and down like waves. And the object is to keep the ball from going in the hole. You don't want the armadillos to go back down in their hole. So once the kids have mastered one ball, then you throw in two, three, four to increase the difficulty. Group game number three is called group juggle. And this is a great game to play if kids do not know one another's names. Then you'll have all the kids stand in a circle and you'll need a couple of squishy balls like this one right here. This would make an excellent ball for this game. One kid will toss the ball to the other kid and has to say the name of the kid that they're tossing the ball to. So the ball goes back and forth and hopefully everyone will get to know each other's names. Now to increase the difficulty level, you want to toss in more balls. So the kids have to focus on catching the ball and saying each other's name. Group game number four is called Human Knot. Now I had fun playing this game when I was a teenager in my youth group. Everybody stands in a circle and grabs a hand of another person. You can't grab the hand of the person to either side of you, don't do that, and don't grab your own, don't hold your own hand. And once everybody has a hand and all hands are held, then you try to get out of the human knot. And the goal is not to let go of any of the hands. It's more difficult than you think. Group game number five is called Create a Shape. You're just gonna need some rope for this game and all the kids hold on to one section of the rope and then the parent or another kid calls out a shape circle triangle rectangle whatever shape you know what shapes are I don't need to, to explain this part and then the kids form the shape with the rope while holding on to the rope so the key here is they have to talk to one another and communicate with one another to figure out how to make the shape I hope that one of these ideas will be useful at your next kids party make sure to leave me a a comment down below. I would love to hear which game you plan on using or which one you find interesting and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.